what time is it? The way you answer that depends on where you are in the world and what time you're watching this. But for one clock, the time all year is always the same, and it's called the doomsday clock. It's, it's a scary sounding name, it's, but it's not an actual clock. It's a hypothetical clock, and it was invented in 1947 as the cover illustration for the Journal of the Atomic Scientist, and they set the hands at seven minutes to midnight. And it's supposed to represent how close we are to our total annihilation, with midnight being the hour of our ultimate destruction. What would happen was that every year, a group of scientists and policy experts would meet and they would look at what's happened in the world over the past year and see, okay, does this mean that things are so bad that we need to actually move the hands of the clock closer to midnight or have things settled down enough that we could maybe move them a little bit back from midnight? So 2017 was not a good year. So in 2018, the clock moved to a position that was closer to midnight than it's been since 1953 at the height of the Cold War. Two minutes to midnight. What was so dire that the hands of the clock had to be moved to two minutes to midnight? Well, it was actually a combination of factors. And I'm going to read something from a statement from the president of the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists. The year just passed proved perilous and chaotic, a year in which many of the risks foreshadowed in our last clock statement came into full relief. We saw reckless language in the nuclear realm heat up already dangerous situations, and relearned that minimizing evidence-based assessments regarding climate and other global challenges does not lead to better public policies. What does that mean for this year? Well, it kind of depends on how you look at what's been happening in the past year. In terms of the nuclear threat, it seems like that's subsided somewhat since 2017, so that's kind of good news. But in terms of climate change, what happened in 2018 was really not good. We saw global carbon emissions soaring to record heights, and they were up by about 3.4% in the U.S. alone. We've got wildfires happening in the U.S. We've got runaway heat waves happening in Australia. And there are studies that are saying that if climate change continues on the course that it is now, it could mean that as many as 250,000 people per year could die because of issues related to climate change. So things are not looking great. Now, the doomsday clock may be hypothetical, but the problems that it represents are all too real, and we need to address them before we just run out of time.